Hello, this is Mr. DVD. And I'm Lumbago. This is our review of the Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure of Spider-Gwen. And Spider-Gwen is like an alternate reality version of Gwen Stacy where she was bitten by the radioactive spider instead of Peter Parker. So she gets the powers. And I've never read the comic, but I've seen this character before. And that's basically all I know is that it's Gwen Stacy as her. her. I don't know if she even has web shooters. I mean, she's doing that thing with her hand, so I would guess that she could shoot web. But I don't know how that went. Maybe Peter Parker built it for her. I don't know. And this doesn't really tell you much about it. It says, when radioactive spiders are turned loose in the lab, these scientists obtain web slinging superpowers. So it's like, okay. And this is from the Absorbing Man series. You can build Absorbing Man. But you'd have to buy all these other people here. And there's a picture of Spider-Man on that side. A picture of Spider-Gwen on that side. Okay, let's open her up. So there she is out of the package. And I kind of, I like the suit. It's weird. It's, it's a lot different than other Spider-Woman and Spider-Man suits. Especially because of the hood. But all the use of the white and black and random parts of Spider-Web. Just very different than the others. That makes I think the spider web armpits are kind of strange. Like, why'd you put it in your armpit? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Still cool though. Like, it looks cool. It's just I don't know how you'd come to that choice. I don't know either. <laughs> Maybe she's a fashion designer. But uh, you also pointed out the blue on the shoes. They're sort of like a turquoise color. Bluish I don't know, but I didn't notice that until you pointed that out. That's just weird. Like, why did she do that? Doesn't really go with the rest of the suit. Although, I guess this is kind of blue up here in the webs. Yeah. It matches. It's just weird. Yeah. And, I don't know. I like the... Oh, this is a very odd look, and I like it. The hood just really adds to it. It seems like a bad idea for if you're fighting birds to have a hood. But, so many people like the Sith, and... Assassin's Creed people use hoods, and it just seems like it'd be a hindrance, but they all use it, so... You can flip it off. Yeah. She comes with the flip it off feature. But I don't think she fights with the flip it off feature. But, uh, yeah, let's show off the other heads, though. So after you pull off her hood, you get this little piece here that's the hood down. And then you can take her unmasked head and stick it on. Pull ah! her head. So there she is with the Glen, with the Gwen head on. The Glen head? Yeah. <laughs> She looks very, very unamused. She does not look like a happy person. She looks kind of bitchy. Yeah. Usually Gwen Stacy looked pretty happy, but I don't know if they intentionally made her look unhappy. Because I didn't read the comic. Maybe being Spider-Girl or Spider-Gwen makes her pissed off all the time. <laughs> but she has her classic little headband with her bangs in the front, and it looks like Gwen Stacy. But, eh, I prefer I think it would look cooler if her hair was white. Yeah. She'd have to die away, though. Unless the spider bite made her hair turn white. So there she is with the mask on, but the hood down. I think that looks kind of cool. Makes her kind of look like an alien. Because her eyes are so weird. They are like look like they're glowing the way the pink is. I like the paint job. I like the design of this. It's like, like we're saying, it's odd. Like there's that little random piece of spider web boomerang in their <laughs> armpit there. But I don't know. I just kind of like it. And there's the web painted inside of the hood. I like the web in the hood. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Like, it looks somewhat better in the artwork, I think, than it does on the actual figure. But the figure's still pretty decent. And then there's sort of a spider, spider symbol going on to the back there. This looks cool. I just don't get the blue on her boots. It's just weird. So everybody can see her coming. Yep. <laughs> and you can see she's got the uh, classic Spider-Man shooting his web thingy. Which makes me think Devil she, horns. I need to read this because it makes me think she does have the spider web shooters. And the back of the box says it gives people web slinging powers. I don't know. Web slinging. And there you can see her spider webbed armpits in her arms. So that's basically it for paint job. Now, articulation is basically the same. This is this body's been reused a few times now from some of the other Spider-Girls, Spider-Women, various Marvel Legends figures. 
It's got nice articulation at the shoulders. Very good articulation, actually. Single joint at the elbow, but it can spin also. Then some good articulation at the wrist. Then it can spin up there underneath the boobies. And then some pretty good articulation at the hips, but I wish there could be more of an ability to do a split. They could spin there at the thigh, double joint knees, spin right there, at the uh, calf or whatever, and then could go back and forth at the ankle and spin and tilt and all kinds of shit. So, well, on the head, the head's got some articulation. You might need a hair dryer for her though, because her other elbow's stuck. Yes, this elbow is very stuck. This happened to our Spider Girl, that one that's in like the maroon suit. Like, it doesn't want to move. It's like, it feels like it's going to break, so I'm going to have to get the hair dryer and loosen that up. So, there she is next to some other Spider Women's and Spider Girls. You got the classic original Spider Woman there, and a newer Spider Woman, and then there's Spider Girl. She's at a rock show. Yep. I think that's the daughter of Spider-Man. And then over here is Spider-Woman, I think. I forget which one that is. And, eh. This is definitely my least favorite. I just kind of hate this one. <laughs> this is boring. I don't, why would you wear me a maroon spider suit? It's yeah. weird. It is. And like you said, that one just looks like Spider-Man with tits. Yep. <laughs> It's actually, it uh, the looks like Ben Rowley, Spider-Man with hits. And then, that looks sort of like the second Spider-Woman, but just slightly different. But, uh, I don't know. I like, I like these three right here. That's my three favorites. I like the, uh, what is she, classic Spider-Woman? The one in the middle is the original, original Spider-Woman. I like her, but I just don't get what about her suit says spider. Yeah. <laughs> Not really anything. She looks more like lightning belly. <laughs> and there's spider Gwen next to Spider-Man. So, I like this figure. It's the one I wanted the most out of this series. I mean, I wanted the Venom, but after seeing him in person, he's kind of meh. Well, I really want the Absorbing Man, too, but he's a beautiful figure, and you're going to buy all the shitty figures to get him. <laughs> but I do like this Spider-Gram figure, despite never reading a comic about her. It just... She's cool looking. Yeah, it's like Assassin's Creed mixed with Spider-Man or something. I really like this extra head she comes with, too. Because <laughs> I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Are you going to eat the brains? I'm going to eat all of it. Even the hair? Yep. Yeah. I'm a cat! Oh, I'll yeah. Just cough it back up. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I like you can switch the heads and also put the hood down with the mask on and all that shit. I like the hood up though. It looks really cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, the articulation's pretty much the same as the last few Spider Women's because it's the same body. Spider Women's. Yep. Oh, and it also, I forgot to show this, it comes with this ball and chain that goes to Absorbing Man. Okay. You can use it for Miley Cyrus figure if you have one. Yeah. It's kind of disappointing <laughs> that it's not an actual chain, though. They could have made a plastic chain, but it's just stuck in this position. Yeah, because why is it slunk down? Like, the only way you can have them hold it is with it sitting on the ground, or else the chain won't make sense. Yeah. So if I actually ever do get all of a Patrol Man, I'll probably rip this off and give him a, a real chain. Put a real chain on it and yeah. look a lot better. So I like this figure. I think it's pretty cool if you like the Spider-Gwen or just think it looks cool. I'd say grab it. Well, this is Mary of Cheese. And I'm Zombacat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Somebody help me. Help. I'll save you. I'll save you. What the hell? I'll save you. 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 Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh, damn it.